those who claim to have scientific knowledge should be careful about claiming that they have scientific knowledge. The problem is that a person who has fairly good qualifications might well step outside of their own field, meaning they're going beyond their own expertise. Despite this, they might be called an expert. They are in their own field, but not beyond their own field. A handful of people have an in-depth understanding of quantum mechanics. However, individuals like Deepak, a self-help author, will claim some things about quantum mechanics and quantum leaps and anything else with the word quantum in it. He is not a theoretical physicist, yet he will make radical claims about these things. It's interesting to know that many so-called experts on complicated issues, especially around self-help and spirituality, will very often step far beyond the limits of their own study into other issues in order to try and confirm certain concepts as being true. What they actually do is reach for highly complex ideas and dress up their pseudoscience and their philosophy in scientific language. Playing upon wishful topics is a very powerful idea. Religious ideas, things that are very supportive. Wishful and magical thinking is a massive business. Individuals such as Doreen Virtue, who speaks about angels in a great many books, has a background in psychology and psychotherapy. Her degrees are largely from a diploma mill. However, her PhD is indeed genuine However, this does not confirm angels, and her background in certain rehab programs, including 12-step programs, speaks to a large degree about where she got her ideas from. Accepting some kind of idea of a higher power and certain assisting forces, such as angels, is a very powerful idea for people to actually get on with their lives. She actually does not confirm anything. Even if she was sticking to a field that she has knowledge of, it does not mean something is automatically true simply because you have degrees in that particular area of study. So you could have any number of degrees. You could be an expert in every area of science. You could be an expert in the humanities too. You could be an expert in practically anything and everything. And yet that would not confirm something as being true just because you said it is true and you use persuasive arguments to suggest it could be a possibility. Many experts have unaccredited qualifications. They might go to a mail order organisation, a university where you do the qualification for the post, or even through the internet. Or for that matter, you can simply buy an honorary degree from any number of different websites on the internet. Cost you very little money, and then you have an honorary PhD. That could be enough for a person, if they wished, to say they're a PhD. It doesn't mean they are, and it doesn't mean they'd be nationally recognised in the UK, the United States, Canada, and elsewhere. To actually say you're a genuine PhD, you need to go through years of study. Julian McKeith is a health expert who appears on UK television. She very often says things that are quite radical. She will poke around in your poo as a nutritionist and point out where you need certain things in your diet. She'll make certain claims about certain types of food and she'll try and disgust people by showing certain types of food before they've been processed and try and encourage them to eat more healthily. However, her degree is fake. In fact, she has a PhD in nutrition from a diploma mill. Very often what we mean when we say diploma mill is that it's a college or university which may or may not have a physical existence but regardless is offering degrees which are not recognized by professional associations. There are some organizations which offer mail order courses where you order your course through the mail and you get a PhD afterwards. However, your PhD is not worth the paper it's printed on. You pay a large amount of money, you don't have to do the work to get a genuine qualification, and this is why they're not recognised as being valid qualifications. Yet with a severe lack of professional expertise, a person can play the role of a professional 
that they can act the part. People like Julian McKeith, they love to place the term doctor before their name or PhD after their name. It increases book sales massively. Doreen Virtue does similar things, as does Deepak and many other experts besides. However, with Julian McKeith, she was told because of the nature of her PhD that she should remove Doctor from her books. The reason for this is that Gillian has no genuine PhD. At least with Doreen Virtue it counts for something. It's not perfect but it's certainly nationally recognised in the United States. So that's more than acceptable. Deepak is a genuine MD. However, in the 1980s, he turned towards Hindu traditional medicine and tried to make it compatible with modern medicine and modern understanding of medicine and psychology. He turned his back on genuine science in order to try and support his own particular religious spiritual beliefs. And much the same can be said of Doreen Virtue, who despite having several quacky diploma mill degrees, in psychology and psychotherapy actually got her psychology PhD which is accepted however she turned from that to focusing on books about angels so isn't it awfully convenient that you have a woman who worked for years in religiously based rehabilitation programs and conveniently she has the same sort of thinking the same sort of methods when it comes down to self-help in her angel work so where Deepak brought together Indian traditional medicine and some modern medicine, as well as modern terminology, Doreen Virtue has a background in religious self-help programs, and she combined that with New Age concepts of angels. The problem isn't with the belief. If you want to believe it, if you want to use that to help you to get yourself to wherever you want to be, get over depression, deal with your everyday life, stop feeling inadequate or having a lack of confidence, and that's fine. But claiming to have a medical or scientific background is not right. You're using qualifications, whether you have genuine qualifications or not, to try and say that these things are true, that these things should be accepted. It's very much like my problems with Dr. Drew Pinsky, who's this television celebrity, a medical expert to the stars, and he actually has these rehab programs. But he's basically giving out advice and getting people into a program so after dealing with a drunk for an entire show they have an intervention and then they say they haven't drank for say a year or 18 months or whatever the case may be when the program goes out and the fact is what they actually have is the idea of going into a religiously based program into the 12 step program where you're meant to believe in a god you can believe in whichever experts you wish whichever programs you wish but the real problem I have is when people claim to have qualifications and they simply push you into a particular program, a particular set of ideas, they tell you what is right, and really they have no justification for many of their claims. Where is Dr. Pinsky's reason for saying you need to have God in your life? I mean an actual scientific reason, not merely a question of belief. Where is Doreen Virtue's reason for saying that angels are real? Does she even believe that or is she just making a buck from some pseudo-psychotherapy? When it comes down to Deepak, doesn't he realise that he's going against science but dressing up his particular belief in scientific language, such as the word quantum? And don't people like Gillian McKeith realise that they're creating ideas which aren't true and getting references for certain types of so-called science from ill-informed websites that are crammed full of pseudoscience about certain types of foods which are superfoods which will help to fight cancer or will help you to have more oxygen in your bloodstream even though the science they use is completely false. So if you wish to believe in certain things you have the right to do so, whether they're religiously based, some kind of mystical belief, some kind of pseudoscience, some kind of pseudoscience nutrition based idea, or whatever the case may be. Believe as you wish, but you really should be sceptical because they're not basing it on actual science, they're not talking about actual 
evidence for many of their claims, and very often they're so biased that their degrees, if they have them, count for practically nothing.